Austin Inn Invitational. I'm Brian Klein. Very happy to be with you courtside at the Stroh Center in Bowling Green, Ohio. And the Bowling Green, Kentucky natives, WKU, coming off their first loss of the season against number three, Louisville. And it was a clean sweep. The Cardinals had their way with the Hilltoppers. But it's not necessarily uncharted territory. Last season, WKU went 28-2. and two. Their only loss was out of conference to Ole Miss instead of Louisville. Uh, that should say only loss in the regular season. They lost to end the season in the second round of the NCAA tournament, also to an out of conference opponent to Georgia Tech. So WKU knows a thing or two about coming back from a non-conference loss, and Louisville was certainly that. Head coach Travis Hudson, you heard earlier on the Don Franklin Auto countdown to first serve about how the team was okay with it. They were okay with a lot of different things that they were doing on the court against Louisville. Their back row defense, for example, was very strong. They did, or excuse me, their front row defense was very strong. They held Louisville to a sub 200 hitting percentage. The only problem was their hitting percentage was zero. And a lot of that was due to the passing. So can the passing led by Abby Schaefer, the true freshman libero, bounce back today against the Paul? Blue Demon team is still looking for their first win of the season. We'll find out. Travis Hudson, of course, in his 28th season at the helm for WKU. Mary Zydak in her fifth season for DePaul, the sixth head coach in program history, who led the Blue Demons to their first Big East tournament in program history last season. This is a DePaul team. Yeah, they're looking for their first win, but they're picked third to win the Big East, and that is the best preseason mark in program history since they joined the conference in 2005. As a reminder, their starters, Maggie Jones, the center, Jill Presley, and Hannah Carl, the outside hitters, the two middles, Caitlin Oxley and Allie Kindleberger. The right side hitter is Bailey Nelson, and the libero is Rachel Krasowski, who will start on the floor for DePaul. And meanwhile, WKU will sub Abby Schaefer in for Katie Eisenbarger, the middle hitter. Takes a seat, Lauren Matthews, the All-American middle is there as well. The two outsides, Paige Briggs, Katie Howard. On the right side, it's Kennedy Coyle, and the setter is Callie Bauer. WKU going in with their white jerseys, red lettering, and DePaul in their blue and red down the side. First serve comes from the setter, Maggie Jones, right to left. WKU has it down the middle, Lauren Matthews blocked, and it sails out of bounds. It's a kill for Matthews off the jump. Hit off the fingertips of the middle, Caitlin Oxley, true freshman from Nebraska. And it's 1-0 Western Kentucky to start. Ashley Hood comes in to replace Kennedy Coyle on this first rotation. She serves, and it's handled by Hannah Carl in the back row in a free ball. Here comes WKU, left side, soft touch, Katie Howard. DePaul controls on the right side. Big swing and a cross-court kill for Jill Presley. We're tying at ones here in the first set. And Presley, with her first kill of the day, rewarded with a potential run at the service line. High toss, nice serve, and a diving pass by Briggs. Left side, Howard going for the home run cross-court kill. Dug out by Krasowski. DePaul with the swing. DePaul with the kill. It's Bailey Nelson, the right side hitter, getting it to go through the teeth of the WKU defense. Another serve coming up for Jill Presley. 2-1 DePaul leads. High toss again. Inches over the tape. It's an ace. Went to the back left, and Abby Schaefer ranged to her right. Couldn't get there in time to popcorn it up. 3-1, the Blue Demons lead the Hilltoppers. And Presley again. Serves right to left, sails out of bounds. Abby Schaefer let this one go, and WKU gets a side out down by one early on in the first set. Katie Howard serves for WKU, sophomore outside hitter from Bowling Green, Kentucky. And she gets the serve off, grazing the top of the tape. On the right side, big swing, high hands, yes. Bailey Nelson, the right side hitter, gets the kill. And Howard is one and done for Western Kentucky.
So Duke has to be happy with their start here. Caitlin Oxley, the middle hitter, serves right to left. Redirected by Howard, left side. Briggs, she smacks it down, down the left line. Paige Briggs with her first kill of the day. And she really struggled against Louisville on Wednesday, even though she reached that 1,000 kill milestone. Unbelievable feat for her. She hit minus 154 with five kills on 26 swings. Serve from Abby Schaefer, DePaul controls. On the right side, soft touch. Bailey Nelson gets the kill. WKU couldn't hacky sack it up. And Nelson decided to just tip it over. Second kill of the day for Bailey Nelson. 5-3 DePaul leads. Ashley Kudamont comes in, sophomore setter from L.A. And she serves, lofted, pass by Abby Schaefer. It's an overpass, smack back. And WKU controls. Paige Briggs gets it over. Here come the Blue Demons. Big swing on the right side. It's Grace Brooker with the kill. DePaul is doubling up Western Kentucky. Nine points in, and they have six of them. Kudamont serves again. Floater serve to Abby Schaefer. Left side, Paige Briggs down the line, and it's pass dug up by Kudamont. Free ball, WKU controls it. Briggs reloads, whips it down off the block touch. Allie Kindleberger, the middle hitter, couldn't get up in time. Hit off her fingertips, and then down to the BG logo at center court. So side out for Western Kentucky, 6-4, to four, DePaul leads. Callie Bauer will serve. Redshirt freshman playing in her first season on the court. Spent a year and a half with the program before this year. Serve comes left to right. It's passed by Hannah Carl on a free ball. Down the middle, Eisenbarger warded off. Western Kentucky gets it back. Eisenbarger reloads. Left side, it's out of bounds. Katie Eisenbarger with her first two swings of the day, neither one of them connecting. A nice block by Hannah Carl there to stop her on the first swing. And Carl, combined with Ali Kindleberger, took down Eisenbarger. Carl serves right to left. On the right side, Kennedy Coyle for Western Kentucky is dug out. Big swing in the middle again, and it's Ali Kindleberger with the kill. DePaul leads 8-4. In the first set, Hannah Carl will serve. Abby Schaefer passes. Here comes a free ball on the wild back row pass by Schaefer. DePaul controls. Left side. It's punched down by Jill Presley off the block touch. Timeout called. Western Kentucky scrambling for answers. 9-4, the Blue Demons lead, and Travis Hudson calls the timeout. We're back in a moment on the Hilltopper Sports Network, brought to you by Learfield. Even if you're feeling fine, a simple health screening could save your life. and improve it's all to Paul early in the first set 9-4 the Blue Demons lead the Hilltoppers 
After the timeout by head coach Travis Hudson, Hannah Carl serving for DePaul. Right to left it comes, popped up, down the middle by Katie Howard, swing Katie Eisenberger, and a dig in the back row by Carl. Free ball to Paul. Here come the Hilltoppers. Right side, Kennedy Coyle rifling it out of bounds. Going for that cross court left side kill and the Southpaw Coyle with her second error in as many swings. 10-4, DePaul leads Western Kentucky coming off their first loss of the season and coming out sluggish to start this Hampton Inn Invitational. It's DePaul, Northern Kentucky, and Bowling Green, the three opponents that Western will see this weekend. Pass by Carl, or rather served by Carl, pass Schaefer, swing Briggs, and DePaul digs it out. On the right side, Grace Brooker whips it off the block. DePaul gets it back, and on the left side, Jill Presley bashes it out of bounds by about 10 feet beyond the service line. So Presley, Mentioned off the top that her usage is going to be high. Unanimous preseason, all Big East. But the outside hitter having trouble locating that swing to side out for Western Kentucky as they trail 10-5 to DePaul. Served by Paige Briggs left to right. Popped up by Jill Presley off the slide. Right side, Grace Brooker dug out by Callie Bauer in the back row. Free ball. Here comes DePaul. On the left side, it's Presley. Soft touch off the tape. It goes right back into her bread basket. She catches it in disappointment and an attacking error for Presley. Her second in her past two swings. Paige Briggs stays at the service line for WKU as they trail by four. She takes a few dribbles, tosses with her right hand and smacks it with her right hand. Diving pass in the back by Hannah Carl. Right side, a trigger swing by Ali Kindleberger off the slide, but two touches, a violation for DePaul. And maybe a net violation, my apologies. Western Kentucky scores, it's 10-7. Here's Paige Briggs. Serve, nice pass by the bench. Rachel Krasowski keeping it in. Bauer. Sets it up, Eisenbarger tips it over. And DePaul gives it back. Left side, Jen Rush just checked back in, block touch, and DePaul controls. Grace Brooker down the line, it's a kill. 11-7, the Blue Demons lead. Rachel Krasowski, Krasowski, excuse me, will serve. Right to left it comes. Redirected by Briggs. Quick set, Eisenbarger, it's a kill. She faced a double team block by Caitlin Oxley and Hannah Carl. And neither one of them could figure out Eisenbarger's swing. It's a three point advantage for DePaul. Eisenbarger takes a few dribbles, spins with her left hand and serves. Pass by Hannah Carl. They've been targeting her all day. They go to Grace Brooker on the right side and a block by Lauren Matthews. Jen Rush was at the top of the tape with her. Western Kentucky scores again and Katie Eisenbarger will serve again. 11-9, Duke leads. And she targets the right side, it just missed by about six inches. So Katie Eisenberger's service run is done. Maggie Jones, the transfer from NC State, serves for DePaul. 12-9, the Blue Demons lead in set number one. And meanwhile, WKU making some subs. Katie Eisenberger is in. Abby Schaefer comes back for defense. DePaul will make some substitutions as well. Grace Brooker coming back into the game for the Blue Devils. Or excuse me, sitting for the Blue Devils. And Maggie Jones, the setter, comes back in. Originally thought she was gonna sit, but she is serving. 12-9 DePaul. 
The NC State transfer gets it off. Pass by Abby Schaefer, right side Kennedy Coyle, block touch to Paul Controls on the dig by Hannah Carl. Push shot in the middle by Kindleberger. WKU reloads with a swing for Jen Rush and a block for DePaul. Caitlin Oxley was there. 13-9, the Blue Demons lead. Serve for Maggie Jones. Quick set in the middle off the pass from Schaefer. Lauren Matthews blocked back. DePaul controls it now. Soft touch swing by Bailey Nelson. Dump Bauer, joust up top, and DePaul wins it. They now have the ball. Back row attack, Hannah Carl, way out of bounds. Not even close. Western Kentucky will take it, down by three now, as Ashley Hood comes in to serve to replace Kennedy Coyle. Hood serve, left to right. They set up on the left side, Bailey Nelson, and she whips it down. Callie Bauer, Lauren Matthews, they were there for the block, but it just fell right down on their side of the net. 14-10, DePaul leads, serve for Jill Presley. It's passed by Abby Schaefer, the libero, down the middle, quick set, Lauren Matthews, Going for a high hand, she didn't get it. And now WKU pleading their case. And without a replay, the referees change the call. So Lauren Matthews, persuasive there. 14-11, DePaul leads. Side out for WKU. Katie Howard serves. Nice pass by Jill Presley to her left. They go to the left side. Allie Kindleberger swing and a dig for Abby Schaefer. Here's a free ball by Paige Briggs by the scorer's table. Nice effort. DePaul controls and DePaul scores again. This time it's a kill for Jill Presley. 15-11 DePaul. Caitlin Oxley serves. Redirected by Schaefer. Left side, Briggs, swing, and a kill. She targeted Jill Presley, who couldn't move her feet. It was that strong of a swing by Briggs. So she punched it to her left, and it just kerplunked right down. 15-12, DePaul still leads. Abby Schaefer, the serve, it was going out of bounds, but Presley tried to play it, and she punches it out of bounds this time. An ace for Abby Schaefer. And WKU trails by two. 15-13 in the first set. Schaefer serves again, gathered in the back row by Presley. They go back to Presley on the swing, cross court kill. Jill Presley, I make that Hannah Carl on the swing. Pinpoint accuracy from left to right. And just as Western Kentucky was starting to get some momentum, DePaul gets a much needed side out. Ashley Kudamont, she serves for DePaul, lofted serve. Left side, Paige Briggs, swing, block touch, kill. Briggs is there again, she's looking really good. Much improved from her performance against Louisville. And she was minus 154. Coyle comes back in, Ashley Hood sits. Callie Bauer will serve, the setter, red shirt freshman for Western Kentucky. Pass by Presley, quick set down the middle, the lefty swings and kills. It's Allie Kindleberger there. So DePaul gets another side out, another one and done for Western Kentucky at the service line. And a Carl serving. Diving pass, Abby Schaefer, left side, Briggs, she's a cheat code. Down the left line again, Paige Briggs is having herself quite the set here. 
and she gets to serve with Western Kentucky down by two, 17-15 in the first set. The senior outside hitter Briggs serves, facilitated mile high pass by Hannah Carl. Left side Jill Presley, push shot down the line, it's dug out by Briggs. Left side again, this time it's Kennedy Coyle. Oh, she kills it down, no. It looked like it was down, but Coyle on that push touched it twice. So it's a violation and DePaul reaps the benefits. It's now a three point lead for the Blue Demons. Western Kentucky is hitting 200 right now to DePaul's 250. Serve for the libero Krasowski. Western Kentucky gets a swing for Eisenberger. It's handled by DePaul. Cross court attempt, it's out of bounds. Jill Presley for DePaul, just missed. Volume is high and now Marie Zadek, the head coach, is challenging the call. What's the verdict? We'll let you know in a moment here on the Hilltopper Sports Network brought to you by Learfield. on the floor before the break. It was a cross-court kill attempt by Jill Presley from left to right. She missed it. That was the ruling on the floor, but Marie Zydak grabbing that Jasmine Green card. They do rule a block touch. And DePaul wins the challenge. The way it works in NCAA volleyball is that you have two challenges per match. If you win it, you keep it. So really, you have two challenge losses allocated per match. So with that, DePaul leads 19-15 in the first set. Western Kentucky coming out flat after their first loss of the season to Louisville, but now clock is ticking. With Rachel Krasowski at the service line for DePaul, standing serve, pass by Briggs, right side, Coyle, block touch and a kill. Kennedy Coyle, the southpaw, Got it to graze off the fingertips of Caitlin Oxley, the freshman middle blocker. And with that, WKU trails by three. That's really as close as, as they've gotten it since the early portions of this set. Katie Eisenbarger was set to serve, but now Callahan Wiegant, true freshman serving specialist from Louisville. She subs in to replace Eisenbarger. The Louisville native did not play against Louisville on Wednesday. Standing serve, pass Presley. Down the middle, Presley gets the swing. Diving dig by Briggs, right side coil. No one home on the attack down the right line. And a whistle blown mid-rally as Hannah Carl is down. Junior outside hitter, Hannah Carl is on the ground. Looks like she's favoring her left side. Now scratch that, yeah, maybe her left ankle. Don't want to speculate. And with that, we'll take a quick break here on the Hilltopper Sports Network brought to you by Learfield. Even if you're feeling fine, a simple health screening could save your life. A visit with your...
Center Brad Klein, very happy to be with you. 19-16, DePaul leads. Hannah Carl, just before the break, the outside hitter went down mid-rally. So the play was whistled dead. Carl walked off under her own power. And DePaul still in the driver's seat with Callahan Wiegand serving for Western Kentucky. Left to right it comes. Pass by Jill Presley. Swing by Jill Presley into the net. And WKU scores. Looked like before Carl went down that they were going to score anyway with Kennedy Coyle's swing. Looked like it could have been a break for DePaul. Two attacking errors on paper in a row for Jill Presley. 19-17 Western Kentucky trails. Serve Wiegand. It's redirected up by Presley. They go back to Presley. Left side again. That's a kill. Grazes off the tape and down off the block touch. Kennedy Coyle could not corral it. Sailing out of bounds. And DePaul is now five points away from handing Western Kentucky their fourth set loss of the season. 20 to 17. Maggie Jones, the setter, comes back to serve. Played 26 of 29 matches for NC State last season as that secondary setter came here for more playing time. Serve comes, popcorned up by Abby Schaefer. Down the middle, Lauren Matthews kill for Western Kentucky. She's been quiet, and WKU trails by two, 20 to 18. They need the All-American middle hitter to step up. Ashley Hood serves for Kennedy Coyle. WKU with the ball in hand. Left to right it comes. Down the right line. It's passed by Julia Nagy. Right side push shot. It's Jill Presley out of bounds. Missed that right sideline by about two feet. And Western Kentucky is only down by one now. 2019. And DePaul calls a timeout. 2019, the Blue Demons still lead, but the Hilltoppers coming back with a vengeance. We're back in a moment on the Hilltoppers Sports Network, brought to you by Learfield. Twenty to nineteen, DePaul leads Western Kentucky late in this first set. Out of the DePaul timeout, each team with one remaining, and Ashley Hood at the service line for WKU. Serve goes left to right. Pass by Krasowski, right side. Jill Presley. She's stifled, but it goes out of bounds. Originally, I thought Lauren Matthews got the kill, or got the block, I should say and the equalizer for WKU, but it's a kill for Jill Presley, and DePaul gets the side out, leading by two, 21-19. Jill Presley, the unanimous preseason, all Big East selection, high toss and a serve into the net. Service error, Jill Presley. And WKU reaping the benefits of a one and done for Presley, 21-20. DePaul still leads. Katie Howard will serve for the Hilltoppers. The sophomore gets it off. Line drive over the tape, pass by Presley. Right side, Brooker rifles it. Oh, it was going out of bounds, but Ashley Hood punched it over. 
Might have been a block touch, and that's why Hood chose to play it. But regardless of whether it was Hood's mistake or not, it's a 22-20 lead for DePaul, a kill for Grace Brooker. And the Blue Demons are three points away from taking this first set. DePaul lost all three matches down in Dallas, the SMU Doubletree Invitational. Serve comes for the Blue Demons, push shot, Briggs, it's a kill on the pass from Ashley Hood. One and done on the service run for Phoenix Lee, the junior setter from Ontario. And she sits for the libero, Rachel Krasowski. 22-21. DePaul still leads Western Kentucky. Serve left to right, Abby Schaefer. It's passed by Jill Presley in the back row. Swing and WKU controls off the swing by Taylor Underwood. Western, an attacking error into the net. Off the fingertips of Katie Eisenberger, DePaul scores again, it's 23-21. And the Blue Demons making some more subs, Grace Brooker and Ashley Kudemet is in, they're in for Bailey Nelson and the setter Maggie Jones. Kudemet is serving again for the, Blue for the Blue Demons, I should say. It's passed by Abby Schaefer, left side Briggs, soft touch. DePaul gets a free ball and almost ran out of touches. They go back to Briggs, left side, it's a kill. No one home in the back except for Jill Presley. She was left on an island and it smacks down on the floor. Another kill for Paige Briggs and Western Kentucky still only down by one, 23-22. This is not the first time outside of the Louisville match that WKU has been challenged. A couple of close sets in the first tournament, the first weekend of this season. Then again, we are close to the end of this set. 23-22, DePaul still leads. It's been a DePaul lead pretty much since the start of this set. Western Kentucky out of the timeout. They need to draw up an answer. I'd imagine that Lauren Matthews would be involved here. She's been pretty quiet. Paige Briggs has been the hero keeping WKU alive here. But really, you look at the numbers and they're not playing too badly. They're hitting 290 to DePaul's 257. 12 kills to DePaul, 16. Each team with one block. Callie Bauer will serve for Western Kentucky out of the timeout. Redshirt freshman setter dribbles with her right hand and serves with her right hand down the right line. Pass by Presley, Krasowski with a bump set. Left side, big swing for Taylor Underwood and a dig for Abby Schaefer. Briggs with the swing, DePaul with the dig. Left side again, and it's Grace Brooker missing out of bounds beyond the service line to Paul. With an attacking error for Grace Brooker, we are tied at 23 apiece. Callie Bauer serve. Pass Kruzowski, it's down. An ace for Callie Bauer, and Western Kentucky leads its set point. Bauer with a chance to end this set. And she serves. It's passed by Jill Presley. Left side, Underwood, rifles out of bounds. Western Kentucky comes back and takes the first set, 25-23. One set to nothing, we're just getting started here in the Stroh Center. The Hampton Inn Invitational not disappointing through one frame. We're back in a moment 
on the Hilltopper Sports Network brought to you by Learfield. at, at 24-23, and then eventually won that frame 25-23. Kelly Bauer at the service line got it done, but WKU riding the coattails of Paige Briggs, seven kills in that first set, hitting 583. She was negative on Wednesday against Louisville, but she's completely flipped the script. Seven kills on 12 swings for the outside hitter from Western Kentucky. On the DePaul side, well, they have some star power too. Bailey Nelson with six kills. That's a quiet six on eight swings, a 750 hitting percentage. DePaul thought they had that set one. But Western Kentucky making them rethink some things. And now WKU moves to the right side with DePaul on the left. So outside of the Louisville match, the Hilltoppers still have not dropped a single set. They won the first nine sets of the season in the Bradley Invitational. And now Travis Hudson out of the timeout between sets, speaking with his team. Mary Zydak, the head coach for DePaul, doing the same. She has to be proud the way DePaul handled themselves, still looking for their first win, and now challenged with number 22, Western Kentucky. The middle hitter, Katie Eisenberger, will serve with her Jeter jump running start. Shades of a high jumper, no coincidence, all conference in high jump and in volleyball. She gets it off. It's passed by Jill Presley, down the middle, quick set, and a kill to start that second set. Caitlin Oxley with a soft touch beyond the outstretched arms of Lauren Matthews. Quick sign out for DePaul, one nothing they lead to start set number two. And it's Jill Presley serving left to right. Plano, Texas native with top spin. Off the net and down, Kennedy Coyle right side off the pass from Schaefer. It's dug out by DePaul and a free ball. Down the middle, Lauren Matthews swing and it's stuffed. DePaul gets it back, another free ball. Abby Schaefer facilitating down the middle, Lauren Matthews overpass. Here comes Western Kentucky again. Soft touch, Jen Rush overpass again, dunked down by Matthews. War of Attrition rally, the longest rally of this match. And Lauren Matthews was the catalyst to take that point for WKU.
wet spot in the middle of the court. Lauren Matthews is wiping it off. Tied at one apiece between DePaul and Western Kentucky. In the second set, 25-23, Western took that first frame. Ashley Hood serves in place of Kennedy Coyle. Pass by Jill Presley, popped up on a wild pass by Maggie Jones. Big swing from the back row, Western controls, and they get it over with a soft touch. WKU scores again. Beautiful dig in the back row. It was started by Callie Bauer, the setter. And then Jen Rush capped off the play. 2-1 WKU leads. Ashley Hood serve. Down the line, nice diving pass by Krasowski, the libero, setting up on the right side. Bailey Nelson, her seventh kill of the day. Tied it to a piece. Caitlin Oxley, the true freshman middle blocker from Lincoln, Nebraska serving. Won the state championship last season for Lincoln Lutheran. Pass by Abby Schaefer, they go to Jen Rush on the left side and Western Kentucky is stopped on the block. Caitlin Oxley tag teaming at the net with Bailey Nelson and DePaul leads again 3-2. Serve again for Oxley. Down the middle, Lauren Matthews on the pass from Schaefer. Her swing is stopped, and Matthews hits the net on her way down on that windmill swing of hers. 4-2, DePaul leads. Oxley serving again for DePaul. Left to right it comes. Floater serve into the net. And Western will take that side out, 4-3, DePaul still leads. Ashley Hood back to serve, or excuse me, Katie Howard back to serve. And Howard gets it off for WKU. It's passed by Presley. Left side, Oxley, cross court attempt, nice dig in the back row by Hood. They go to Briggs on the left, she stopped. WKU gets it back on the block and a free ball. What can DePaul do with this opportunity? Quick set down the middle, it's a kill. Allie Kindleberger was there, the middle hitter. Getting it off the block touch, sailing out of bounds past the outstretched arms of the libero. Abby Schaefer could not hacky sack it up. 5-3 DePaul leads. Ashley Kudemont serves. It's passed by Schaefer, left side break, soft touch and DePaul controls. Back row attack, Presley, now make it a free ball. She chose not to swing. Dump Bauer for Western Kentucky and DePaul somehow comes up with it. Joust up top and Western Kentucky controls now. Here's Paige Briggs, oh she dunks it down. Cross court kill Briggs. Paige Briggs whittles the deficit down to one. Her match leading eighth kill hitting 533, an ace. Western Kentucky scores again, their second point in a row. This ace coming from Abby Schaefer. Third ace for WKU. It's the second for Schaefer. She serves again. Pass by Presley in the back row. Back row attack for Underwood. Block touch, Western Kentucky in control. Paige Briggs loads up on the left side. And off a block touch, it goes out of bounds. They rule another kill for Briggs. And here comes another challenge for Mary Zydek. I'm sitting right in front of the play. I was surprised by the call in real time, but we'll see what the verdict is after a break. You're listening to WKU Volleyball on the Hilltopper Sports Network, brought to you by Learfield.
Mary Zondok won her first and loses her second. It is a block touch and a kill for WKU. So Western leads six to five. Mary Zondok getting the explanation from the referee right now on the far side. Abby Schaefer will serve after the Page Briggs kill. Schaefer has two of the team's three aces today. Didn't have a single ace against Louisville on Wednesday. No ace here on the pass from Presley. Soft touch, WKU punches it over. They nearly ran out of touches. Eisenberger got it over, swing on the right side by Brooker, denied, and WKU controls again. They reload, but two touches, a ball handling error for DePaul, and Western Kentucky scores again, 7-5. It's now a 4-0 run. Jill Presley called for the two touches. And Presley now pleading her case with the lead official on the tower. No challenge here for Mary Zonek. She's already used two. She has one left. 4 0 run for WKU, quarterbacked by Abby Schaefer. At the service line, she's been a lot more efficient from that service line compared to Wednesday. Serve comes again, passed again by Presley. Left side, Underwood. Easy dig in the back row for Ashley Hood. Left side again, this time it's Briggs. And she lassos it down, down the left line. 8-5 WKU, and a timeout called for DePaul. Mary Zadak has seen enough to start this second set. It's 8-5, and Western Kentucky looking like a different version of themselves out of the gate. We're back in a moment on the Hilltopper Sports Network brought to you by Learfield. Center Health Women's Health Specialist. Out of the timeout by DePaul, they have one left in this set. 8-5, Western Kentucky leads on a 5-0 run. Abby Schaefer serves, Jill Presley passes, and a swing on the left side for DePaul, controlled off the swing by Brooker, by Abby Schaefer, and two touches for WKU. So a ball handling error ends that 5-0 spurt. Meaning DePaul will serve now after the side out. Taylor Underwood at the service line for the Blue Demons. 8-6 WKU leads. Underwood, a true freshman right side hitter. I should say versatile pin hitter. She's been on the outside too. Paige Briggs loads up off the swing, rather pass from Schaefer. She swings and paints in the back right. Another kill for Paige Briggs, 9-6, WKU leads. Briggs is now up to 11 kills. She has 11 of the team's 18 kills. Callie Bauer serving for Western Kentucky. 9-6, the Hilltoppers lead to Paul. It's passed by Julia Nagy. Big swing on the right side by Brooker and a dig in the back row for Katie Howard. 
free ball. Here comes DePaul. Again, Brooker. The southpaw rejected. DePaul gets a free ball. Nice diving dig on the block by Brooker. Western Kentucky gets it back and a kill on the right side for Kennedy Coyle off the block. Callie Bauer serves for WKU. Herculean effort by Grace Brooker to keep that rally alive. Nothing to show for it. 10-6, WKU leads to Paul here in set number two. Serve Bauer, pass Nagy, quick set down the middle, and it's Allie Kindleberger getting the kill for DePaul. It's a three-point lead for WKU, 10-7, as Rachel Krasowski serves the junior libero for DePaul. From Orland Park, Illinois, about 45 minutes south of Chicago. Serve goes to Katie Howard, soft touch Eisenberger, and DePaul is in control. Back row attack, Presley down the left line. It's a kill. Diving to her right, Katie Howard. She could not hacky sack it up with a punch motion with her right hand. Instead, it sails over the head of the head coach, Travis Hudson, for Western Kentucky on the bench. A kill for Jill Presley, 10-8, DePaul leads. Presley now has six kills on 12 swings, hitting 167. Serve for Krasowski, it's passed by Howard and a miscue. Briggs didn't know whether she should go for that second touch or if it was Eisenbarger, but neither one was really sure because Callie Bauer, the setter, was way on the other side. This one fell to the near side, Bauer on the far. Goes down as an ace for Krasowski, she serves again. Passed by Schaefer this time. Set up by Bauer. Right side coil. Dig in the back row for Nagy. Here comes DePaul. Left side swing. It's a kill for Jill Presley. Eisenbarger and Coyle were there for the block for WKU, but they could not reject and ward off Jill Presley, the unanimous preseason all Big East selection, with her seventh kill. We're tied at tens. Serve again for Krasowski. Overpass Schaefer, it's dunked down. Who else? Jill Presley was there. Timeout called by WKU. 11-10 to Paul Leeds. In the second set, we are trading blows again. Travis Hudson in the timeout. Slams down his clipboard. He is not happy. Find out if Western Kentucky can bounce back after a quick break on the Hilltopper Sports Network, brought to you by Learfield. MedCenter Health, their mission is to care for people and improve the quality of life in the communities they serve. Visit them at medcenterhealth.org. Brad Klein, very happy to be with you from the Stroh Center in Bowling Green, Ohio. WKU trails to Paul 11-10 in, se in the second set. Serve Krasowski, pass Schaefer, and a swing for Kennedy Coyle on the right side. DePaul controls. Jill Presley loads up, and she whips it down again. Kill number nine for the unanimous preseason all Big East selection Presley, and it's 12-10 to Paul out of the timeout. WKU used their first timeout of this set. Travis Hudson not happy with his team, slamming the clipboard down in that huddle. Krasowski serve, passed by Howard. Paige Briggs on the swing, and WKU blocked back, and a free ball. Here comes Grace Brooker for DePaul. Diving dig for Abby Schaefer on the near side. Briggs loads up again. Left side swing, easily handled. 
by Kudamont for DePaul. They go to Jill Presley again, but this time Presley is sent back by Katie Eisenberger. So Western Kentucky gets the side out, still down by one, 12 to 11, DePaul leads. And Paige Briggs will serve. Briggs is really the only reason that Western won the first set and is in the second set. She has 11 of the team's 18 kills. Serves right to left. Passed by Nagy. Left side, Presley, soft touch, and handled by Jen Rush, but an overpass. DePaul on a dunk down motion. They get it back on a free ball. Grace Brooker, swing for DePaul. Nice dig by Briggs. They go to the right side. Kennedy Coyle dug out by Krasowski. Brooker on the right side, free ball. Western Kentucky has a quick set. Eisenberger, a kill. Off balance, but she still finds a way to smack it down. And that's the equalizer, 12 apiece in the second set. Western Kentucky took the first frame, 25-23. They hit 281 to DePaul's 184 now. It's 241 for WKU, 210 for DePaul. It's been a very even match for number 22 Western Kentucky against DePaul, a team still looking for their first win, 0-3. Float serve Paige Briggs, quick set down the middle. It was a big swing by Kindleberger. Briggs dug it out. Another swing for Western Kentucky and another kill. Katie Eisenberger scores for Western Kentucky. It's her second kill of the day. She's only hitting 111, nine swings for Eisenberger. And Briggs serves. WKU 13, DePaul 12. Two touches on a botched swing, rather botched pass by DePaul. Swing for Eisenberger in the middle. DePaul gets it back. Presley down the line, and it's down. Callie Bauer tried to set it up on that first, ta uh, that first touch. Briggs couldn't handle it. And WKU ran out of touches. We're tied at 13s in the second set. DePaul's Maggie Jones serving. The serve will come left to right. Western Kentucky trying to wake up here. According to Travis Hudson on the bench, you could read his lips saying, wake up. Pass comes from Abby Schaefer, soft touch coil, and DePaul with a free ball. Dig Briggs, Western Kentucky jousts it over. WKU gets it back on a block. Jen Rush runs into a brick wall on the left side. Another kill for DePaul. This time it's Bailey Nelson. 14-13, DePaul leads Western Kentucky in the second set. Paige Briggs cleaning up a wet spot in the middle of the floor. Maggie Jones, the transfer from NC State, still at the service line for DePaul. Her mother, Betsy, was a three-time Division III Volleyball All-American at Mount St. Joseph's, and her mother was also her high school coach out in Cincinnati. Serve comes, pass Schaefer, blocked back on the swing by Eisenbarger. WKU gets it back, cross-court kill. It was Jen Rush, and that wakes up the bench. They needed it. Rush coming off the bench and contributing her second kill on seven swings. She's hitting minus 143. She's been so important for WKU's offense. Off the bench through four matches this season. Big improvement in usage and in productivity for Rush. From her previous three years, she's a senior now, really playing impact roles for the first time this season. Travis Hudson says the difference has been the spring. Didn't have a normal spring until now since her freshman year. Callahan Wiegand comes off the bench and aces immediately for WKU. It's the fourth ace for Western Kentucky, the first for Wiegand, and another serve as WKU leads 15-14. Passed by Nagy in the back row, swing Jill Presley wide side. She misses out of bounds, and Western Kentucky leads 16-14. Many 3-0 spurt for Western Kentucky to take a two-point advantage midway through this second set. Wiegand serves again. Floater serve. 
Passed by Nagy. They go left side, off the block. Big swing, Bailey Nelson. Western Kentucky can't corral it. It goes off the pin on their third desperation touch. And another point for DePaul. It's a side out to end that mini 3-0 run. Callahan Wiegand and Katie Eisenbarger sit. Lauren Matthews comes back on. Abby Schaefer replaces Wiegand. Kennedy Coyle back as well. Here's a serve. Thunderous serve by Jill Presley with topspin. It's a line drive pass by Abby Schaefer. They get a set for Lauren Matthews, and she kills it down. 17-15 Western Kentucky leads. One and done for the best server on the team, Jill Presley. And DePaul wastes an opportunity there. Western Kentucky up by two. 17-15, serve Ashley Hood, fresh off the bench. Quick set and a kill. Caitlin Oxley. Off the pass by the libero, Rachel Krasowski. And Oxley will serve now. 17-16, Western Kentucky leads in set number two. They took the first frame, 25-23. Serve into the net. Caitlin Oxley looked like that was going right into the net from the jump. Just her body language on her approach. Looked like she was off balance. Didn't sound good off the ball. Looked like she just missed contact. 18-16, Western Kentucky leads in set number two. Howard serves, floater. Passed by Krasowski, down the middle. And Kindleberger was ahead of it. A free ball comes. Western Kentucky with a swing back to DePaul. They kill it down from the back row. It's Jill Presley. She got the dig, and then they set her back up for the back row attack. DePaul down by just one. 18-17. A big side out. Ashley Kudimat will serve for the Blue Demons. Sophomore setter, fresh off the bench. She's been used primarily as a serving specialist. This is where Western Kentucky got some, se some separation in the first set. Keep it court side for a minute. I got to handle something here. Serve for Kudama. Pass by Briggs. Swing by Briggs. It's a kill. It was going out of bounds to the back left corner. Jill Presley chose to play it and immediately regretted it. As soon as it hit her, hit, as soon as it hit her fist, it sailed out of bounds, and she looked up to the sky asking, "Why? Why did I touch that?" Regardless, it's a kill for Briggs and a break for WKU. Briggs' 12th kill of the day, hitting 5:45, and a timeout for DePaul. They don't have any timeouts left in this set. 19-17, Western Kentucky leads. Mary Zydak chose to take a timeout before this set got out of reach. Abby Schaefer serves for Western Kentucky. Right to left it comes, line drive floater. Pass by Presley, back row attack Presley, it's a kill! To the back left and Ashley Hood couldn't dive for the dig in time. And Travis Hudson communicating with her from the bench, the body language reading, you gotta beat the ball to the spot, but easier said than done. 
when Jill Presley dials it up like that. Serve for Taylor Underwood, left to right for DePaul. Pass by Hood, killed down by Eisenberger, the middle hitter off the swing. And Underwood is one and done at the service line. 2018 Western Kentucky leads. Ashley Hood sits. Kennedy Coyle, the right side hitter, comes back on for WKU. 2018, Callie Bauer serves the redshirt freshman setter. Pass by Krasowski. They go to the right side for Grace Brooker. And it's a kill. Brooker from the right side targeted the back left corner. Callie Bauer and Katie Howard converge for WKU. Neither one touched it as they were both trying to dig it out. It grazed off of one of their forearms. I thought it was Katie Howard. Serve comes for the libero, Rachel Krasowski. It sails out of bounds left to right. And another one and done look for DePaul. 21-19, Western Kentucky gets a break. And Paige Briggs at the service line. 2021 All-American Honorable Mention. Three consecutive All-South Region team selections as well. Floater serve comes, Krasowski with the pass. Big swing by Brooker on the right side and Western Kentucky with a free ball into the net. Jen Rush from the back row trying to go for an aggressive free ball. It hit the top of the tape and kerplunked down towards the Western Kentucky side. So it goes down as an attacking error for Jen Rush. She continues to struggle as far as efficiency, two kills, eight swings, minus 250. She's the only player for WKU under, under zero for her hitting percentage. 21-20, no, make it 21-21 on the ace for DePaul. It was Maggie Jones, the transfer from NC State, fisting it down, Abby Schaefer could not pass it on the dive. 21 all, Maggie Jones serves again. This time handled by Schaefer, right side, Coyle down the line, it's a kill. Rachel Krasowski, the libero, was tied up down the right line. Didn't know if she should bump it, set it, or what, but Kennedy Coyle gets a clutch kill. It's her second of the day on 11 swings, hitting 091, she struggled. Callahan Wiegand comes back on to serve. Abby Schaefer taking a quick break. Wiegand, floater serve. Passed by Nagy, right side Presley. She's stifled, but DePaul gets it back. Back row attack and a kill. Bailey Nelson, the senior. The play looked dead, but DePaul somehow scores again. 22 all late in the second set. It's one set to nothing. Western Kentucky survived DePaul 25-23 in the first frame. And now Jill Presley with a chance to get some big points here. Floater serve. Pass by Briggs. Down the middle. It's Lauren Matthews with the kill. The All-American giving Western Kentucky a 23-22 advantage. Lauren Matthews with her sixth kill on 10 swings. 23-22, Ashley Hood serving for WKU. The grad senior gets it off, and it's out of bounds. Ashley Hood, her first service error of the day. And the team's second. 23 all. Serve for DePaul, it's Caitlin Oxley into the net. Western Kentucky inherits set point, 24-23. Three consecutive, make that two consecutive one and done serves for DePaul, 24-23. Western Kentucky leads at set point, Katie Howard serve. Back row attack for Brooker, it's down. And DePaul will stretch this set a little bit farther. A kill for Grace Brooker, it's 24 all. Phoenix Lee, the junior serving specialist comes in for the Blue Demons. 
and she smacks it with her right. Left to right it goes. Katie Howard with the pass, it went wide. Callie Bauer, Herculean effort to keep it up. Free ball, Western Kentucky. DePaul gets the kill. Bailey Nelson in system, taking advantage of Western Kentucky's lackluster defense, trying to make up for the Katie Howard pass. And now, all of a sudden, it's set point to Paul, 25-24. In set number two, serve for Phoenix Lee, pass for Abby Schaefer, down the middle, soft touch, Lauren Matthews, it's kept up by Krasowski. Back row attack for Jill Presley. Here comes WKU, Paige Briggs, it's a kill on the left side, nicking the service line. Paige Briggs painting in the back and WKU ties it at 25 apiece. Abby Schaefer serving. True freshman libero out of bounds. Western Kentucky's third service error of the day. They had 13 with zero aces on Wednesday, so it's definitely an improvement, but Abby Schaefer had five of those service errors on Wednesday. That's her first of the day. Again, it's set point for DePalm, 26-25. Serve comes for Taylor Underwood. Passed by Paige Briggs, dump Bauer. Back to Underwood, DePaul in system. Left side, Jill Presley, block touch. Here comes WKU. On the left side, it's Briggs, blocked back, and DePaul wins the second set. Twenty-seven, twenty-five. the Blue Demons still looking for their first win of the season but they get a big time second set win on number 22, Western Kentucky. Paige Briggs stifled by Maggie Jones and Allie Kindleberger. One set apiece here at the Stroh Center in Bowling Green, Ohio. We're back in a moment on the Hilltopper Sports Network brought to you by Learfield.
Center Health, the official health care sponsor of WKU Athletics, offering more than 135 health care providers and over 25 specialties across South Central Kentucky. Well, South Central Kentucky has got to be in shock right now. I wouldn't blame them. One set apiece, 20, excuse me, 25 to 23. Western Kentucky took the first set. DePaul took the second set. Unbelievable effort by the Blue Demons, 27-25. I'm Brad Klein, very happy to be with you from the Stroh Center in Bowling Green, Ohio. Western Kentucky and DePaul switch sides again. WKU to the left, DePaul to the right. For the first time outside of the Louisville match, WKU has dropped a set. They took the first nine sets of the season in the Bradley Invitational, the SEFQ Invitational in Peoria, Illinois. And that was a few challenges in there. Miami, Ohio, Bradley, and then Kansas City. Bradley, they really weren't tested that much, but Kansas City and Miami each gave them one really close set. Finally, DePaul gets a big set win. Big moment for their program. And they have number 22, Western Kentucky, on the ropes. DePaul starts with the serve. Jill Presley, right to left, it sails out of bounds. The unanimous preseason All-Big East selection missed by about 10 feet beyond the service line, and Western Kentucky starts with a 1-0 lead here in the third frame. Ashley Hood serving for WKU had a very pivotal service error late in that second set. Floater serve, Krasowski pass. Left side, Underwood dials it up. Nice dig in the back row for Ashley Hood. Soft touch, Matthews. DePaul controls, right side, Taylor Underwood, that's a kill, cross court. Ashley Hood couldn't die for the dig in time. It slaps the hardwood, and we're tied at one apiece in the third set. Caitlin Oxley will serve, true freshman middle blocker. Zedek brought Oxley in for her length to stop the tough attacks on the schedule. WKU being one of them. Serve comes, pass by Schaefer. Jen Rush sent back, and a free ball by Rush. DePaul loads back up, Underwood denied. Lauren Matthews was there. Another free ball for DePaul. Dump Bauer, and Western Kentucky leads. 2-1 WKU after the dig by Ashley Hood. Callie Bauer dunks it down. And Katie Howard will serve for the lady, or excuse me, for the toppers. 2-1 lead. Katie Howard takes a deep breath and gets it off. It's popcorned up by Taylor Underwood. And a roll shot in the front row. WKU with an overpass joust and DePaul wins it. Lauren Matthews couldn't get to the spot in time. Katie Howard and Ashley Hood tied up, and that's what caused that pass that just went a little too far beyond Matthews' reach. 2-2 in the third set. Ashley Kudamont serves. Passed by Abby Schaefer. Left side, Briggs off the block, and DePaul controls. Back row attack, Presley out of bounds. Jill Presley with another attacking error. We said off the top that volume would not be a problem for Jill Presley. Efficiency might. She's hitting 200, which is above what she came in with this season. 12 kills, 25 swings. Serve, Ashley Hood, it's an ace. Excuse me, Abby Schaefer on the serve. And it grazes the opposite service line. 4-2 Western Kentucky leads. Abby Schaefer gets it off again. Serve number two. Passed by Presley. Bump set Krasowski. The libero gets it over to Taylor Underwood. And she swings in motion towards the net and down. 4-3. Western Kentucky still leads. But Taylor Underwood getting involved early on in this third set. That's her first kill. Ninth swing. Underwood serve. It's passed by Abby Schaefer, another dump for Callie Bauer. Western Kentucky leads DePaul five to three.
Callie Bauer serves. Left to right it comes, passed by Nagy. Right side, soft touch, and it's caught up off the soft touch swing by Brooker. WKU gives it back to DePaul. Jill Presley left side, block touch. Nice dig by Abby Schaefer. They set up Briggs, it's down. Paige Briggs rifles it to the back right, and a kill for WKU, 6-3 they lead. Kill number 14 for Paige Briggs. The senior outside hitter, Paige Briggs, Travis Hudson says that nobody in the country impacts winning the way Paige Briggs does. And a timeout called by DePaul. 6-3, WKU leads. We're back in a moment on the Hilltopper Sports Network brought to you by Learfield. Med Center Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine offers expert care and innovative solutions to help stop your pain. Learn more at medcenterhealth.org slash ortho. Brad Klein, very happy to be with you from the Stroh Center in Bowling Green, Ohio. Third set, WKU leads six to three in the frame, but we split the first two sets. Western Kentucky, 25-23 in set number one, 27-25 for DePaul in set number two. Serve for Katie Howard. DePaul with a free ball. Big swing on the right side. Kennedy Coyle with the kill. A correction, it was Callie Bauer on the serve, and she stays at the service line. 7-3, Western Kentucky leads. Bauer serve. Handled by Nagy. Quick set, joust in the middle. And Western Kentucky gets it off a free ball. Left side, Paige Briggs trying to go to the back row again and just missing. The senior, Paige Briggs, has been so good for Western. Had five kills on Wednesday, already has 14, tying her season high. Serve for Krasowski. Handled by Schaefer, here they go back to Paige Briggs on the left side, she's stopped by Grace Brooker. 7-5, Western Kentucky still leading. Rachel Krasowski stays at the service line. Played by Schaefer off the serve, back row attack Coyle and it's down. Weird play where Coyle chose not to jump Instead went for a roll shot, and then Caitlin Oxley was trying to leap for the block. She was down on the ground by the time Coyle actually connected for the swing. Off time, and Coyle really didn't face much defense there as a result. Avery Davis is in the match for the first time today, taking over for Katie Howard. Big block off the swing by Caitlin Oxley. Briggs stays at the service line for Western Kentucky. 9-5 lead, Paige Briggs bouncing the ball back and forth and gets it off left to right. It's passed by Jill Presley. Presley with the swing, over dig by Callie Bauer, and here comes DePaul, Grace Brooker, right side, loads up and whips it down. Abby Schaefer could not handle it, the true freshman libero 
coughs it up onto the floor. It's a three-point lead for WKU, but DePaul sticking around in the third set. Maggie Jones serves. Transfer from NC State. Right to left, the serve comes. Diving pass by Schaefer. Nice set by Callie Bauer. First swing of the day for Avery Davis is a block. WKU gets it back. Right side hitter Coyle gets it back to DePaul. And the Blue Demon swing, cross court dig to Paul, rather dig coil. Avery Davis swing, block touch, the Blue Demons have it. Jill Presley gets it over. Briggs, bump set, Avery Davis, cross court. Oh, nice dig by Krasowski, and a free ball for DePaul. Western Kentucky gets it back. Right side, coil, dunks it down, block touch, no. Coyle was going for hands, instead missed on the right sideline. 9-7 Western Kentucky leads. Maggie Jones serves for DePaul. Down the right sideline, pass by Schaefer. That pass was not even close to where Callie Bauer was expecting it, and the setter just pinballed it right into the net. It's an ace for Maggie Jones. Third ace of the day for DePaul. And make that fourth, 9-8. WKU still leads, floater serve to Schaefer. Right side, Coil lines up and dug out by Krasowski. Joust at the tape and a tip shot out of bounds on the far side for Bailey Nelson, attacking error. And Western Kentucky, their lead is now up to two. Callahan Wiegand comes in to serve for WKU. Standing floater serve. Passed by Nagy. Left side. Off time. Swing Nelson. It's down. She targeted the back row. Callahan Wiegand was able to pop it up, but nowhere near where she wanted to. And that pass by Wiegand sailed out of bounds. Kennedy Coyle from the right front row trying to catch up to it could not do so, 10-9 off the kill by Nelson. WKU still leads, Jill Presley serving, hops been served, diving pass, Abby Schaefer, and she gets it over to Lauren Matthews for the kill. 11-9, WKU leads in the third set. First frame went to the Hilltoppers, the second to the Blue Demons, 27-25. And now Western Kentucky is still trading blows with DePaul. Big East team picked third in the conference. That is the best preseason mark in program history. And the Blue Demons still looking for their first win of the season. But against number 22, that win might mean a little bit extra. Ashley Hood serves for Western Kentucky. Passed by Presley as she falls down to her rear end and a free ball that sails out of bounds. A push shot for Maggie Jones, the setter. She was trying to be a little aggressive to the back row and it cost her. Ashley Hood, the server, was in the back row, let it sail over her head and Hood serves again. Left to right, line drive, pass by Presley. They go to Underwood, left side, swing, over dig, Hood, and a diving dig by Briggs on the swing. WKU runs out of touches. It goes into the net by Callie Bauer on the desperation heave. A point for DePaul. Caitlin Oxley serving. I make that Sierra Ellison, the junior outside hitter, checking in in place of Caitlin Oxley. The first time we're seeing Ellison today. 12-10, Western Kentucky leads DePaul in the third set. Sierra Ellison at six foot. The junior dribbling back and forth, waiting for the whistle. There it comes, serve right to left. Out of bounds. Sierra Ellison comes off the bench to serve. She's one and done, and Caitlin Oxley comes back. So Western Kentucky leads 13 to 10. 
Avery Davis sits for WKU as Katie Howard comes back on to serve for the Hilltoppers. And it's down. The serve grazes the service line. And Katie Howard with an ace. And DePaul is challenging the call. For now, it's 14-10, WKU leads. We'll take a step aside and let you know what the challenge result is after a quick break on the Hilltopper Sports Network brought to you by Learfield. Region's largest healthcare provider, MedCenter Health, is proud to offer support to WKU Athletics. MedCenter Health, the care you need right here. 14-10, WKU leads the challenge by Mary Zydak, the head coach for DePaul, unsuccessful. Before the timeout, there was a questionable call as to whether or not Katie Howard aced, and she did, and she's back at the service line for Western Kentucky. Ace, round two. This time she targeted Jill Presley in the back row and she popcorned it out of bounds about three rows deep. 15-10, Western Kentucky leads in the third set. Howard serves again, this time targeting Presley in the face and it's popped up. DePaul with a free ball, dig Howard. Lauren Matthews winds up and lassos it down. 16-10, Western Kentucky in set number three. Katie Howard piecing together a nice little service run for Western Kentucky here. Team that did not have a single ace on Wednesday. They have seven now. Howard with two of them on this trip. Here comes the serve. It's dug out by Maggie Jones and they set up Kindleberger in the middle. She stopped on the block by Lauren Matthews. So now the lead is up to eight. I'll make that seven, 17-10 WKU. Howard serve into the net. The run is over, but Katie Howard with a nice little spurt there of five points. 17-11 Western Kentucky leads. Ashley Kudimat comes back in to serve for the Blue Demons. Serve comes right to left. Abby Schaefer passes up top. Quick set, Matthews, and the hitter hits it down. All-American middle hitter Lauren Matthews doing what she does best, pinballing it off of the block touch. Allie Kindleberger could not send it back. It's 18-11 WKU in the third set. Abby Schaefer serve. It's passed by Underwood off the slide. Kindleberger right side, block touch and a kill. Paige Briggs nicked it with her fingertips. And a carom towards the WKU service line. Nothing that the true freshman Abby Schaefer, the libero, could do about that one. Another point for DePaul. And Kindleberger with the kill, Underwood with the serve. Paige Briggs gets the pass from Schaefer and a swing over past Kudamont. Two touches though, DePaul with a ball handling error. 19-12, WKU leads. Oh, 
We're here in the third set. Western Kentucky took the first one, 25-23. DePaul somehow beat number 22 Western Kentucky in the second set, 27-25, and Callie Bowers serve. Raises the top of the tape, it's over. Left side, Jill Presley off the pass from Kudamont. She winds up and smacks it down off the block touch down the left line. Jill Presley keeping DePaul in this one. Her 13th kill. It's also her 30th swing. 19-13, serve comes from Krasowski to Libero and a free ball for WKU as they almost ran out of touches. Grace Brooker, push shot right side. Paige Briggs on the left side, gets it off, and Brooker with the dig. Jill Presley winds up from their left side. Down the line, diving dig, Callie Bauer, and a free ball. Here comes the ball again. Brooker again. The southpaw gets it off the shoulder of Schaefer. She keeps it up, and Briggs winds up again. Another free ball. Briggs, rather, Brooker push shot. Western Kentucky has it. Briggs lassos it. Another dig by Krasowski. Brooker again to the back row, stopped by Howard. War of attrition rally, who's gonna blink first? The answer is DePaul. It's a kill for Paige Briggs, her 15th of the day. That's a season high. And DePaul calls a timeout with Western Kentucky leading 20 to 13 in set number three. We're back in a moment on the Hilltopper Sports Network brought to you by Learfield. Suntan City has two convenient salons in Bowling Green and throughout Kentucky. Stop by today for all your tanning and spray tanning needs. Brad Klein, very happy to be with you from the Stroh Center. In the third set between Western Kentucky and DePaul, the Hilltoppers lead the Blue Demons 20 to 13, but it's one set apiece as Avery Davis comes in to replace Katie Howard for WKU. Briggs serves for the Hilltoppers. It's passed by Nagy off a dive. Jill Presley loads up on the left side and blocked. DePaul gets it back. Brooker down the line. She just misses on the right side past the service line by maybe six inches. So now WKU leads DePaul 21-13. Briggs serves again. She's already tied her season high with 15 kills. Serve comes on a float. It was short. Nagy with the diving pass. Big swing by Brooker, and she's sent back. Jill Presley, another swing. Over dig by Abby Schaefer, played by Brooker. Quick set down the middle, and Oxley is blocked by Eisenbarger. DePaul gets it back, and they kill it back from the back row. Jill Presley again. WKU leads by seven, 21-14. Maggie Jones serves. Transfer from NC State. And now Western Kentucky clapping their hands saying, let's go. As Logan Grevengood, the true freshman, comes in on the right side. Serve comes over past Schaefer. It's dunked down. Caitlin Oxley was there. 21-15, DePaul still trails. But Maggie Jones at the service line again. Serve comes right to left. 
Pass by Schaefer, overpass again. Deja vu, this time they go to the right side. Another overpass, WKU capitalizes this time. Avery Davis was there to dunk it down. Katie Eisenbarger sits for Cameron Mosley as WKU gets a serving specialist in there. Travis Hudson wants Mosley to serve. The junior walk-on gets it off left to right on a float. Nagy with the pass, quick set, and a swing by Oxley. WKU with a free ball. Here comes DePaul. Oxley punches it back over. Briggs digs it. Down the middle, Lauren Matthews. It's a kill. Off the block touch, down the left side, Lauren Matthews picking up her 11th kill of the day. 23-15. Mosley serve. Pass by Nagy, right side, Brooker winds up down the line, it's a kill. Grace Brooker again. The southpaw triggers it on the sideline. I think WKU thought it was going out of bounds. She did not hit hands, it was clean off the line. 23-16, Hilltopper lead. Jill Presley serves, she has a high toss. With top spin, she gets it off. Pass by Schaefer, set up Bauer, joust, Matthews can't win it. Instead, it's Caitlin Oxley for DePaul, winning the scaling contest at the top of the tape. 23-17, DePaul with a chance here to climb back into it with WKU two points away from taking the third set. Jill Presley serves again. Briggs passes, Matthews swing and a kill. Oh, she's automatic on the quick set. Kill number 11 for Lauren Matthews, 24-17 at set point for WKU. Logan Grevengood is rotated to the back and now she's rotated out. The true freshman right side hitter is on the bench. Ashley Hood comes in to replace her and serves. Jill Presley passes over to Taylor Underwood. It's dug out by Briggs in the back row. Bump set Hood, Briggs back row attack. Nice dig by Krasowski for DePaul. Grace Booker swing, she's sent back by Matthews. DePaul gets it back, Presley winds up. Dig by Briggs, Joust Bauer and WKU corrals. Here comes Avery Davis on the left side. Big swing, DePaul keeps it in by the crowd and a free ball. Western Kentucky with a chance here on set point. Bauer with a joust, WKU back in control. Taylor Underwood from the back row. Abby Schaefer digs it out off the block touch. Lauren Matthews dunks it down. That's set point, and that is how WKU takes the third set, 25-17. The Hilltoppers riding the coattails of Lauren Matthews, 12 kills on the day, hitting 526. We're back in a moment, two sets to one. Western Kentucky leads to Paul on the Hilltopper Sports Network, brought to you by Learfield.
Western Kentucky, two sets. DePaul, one set through three. I'm Brad Klein. Very happy to be with you from Stroh Center in Bowling Green, Ohio. WKU getting all they bargained for against a zero win W, or excuse me, against a zero win DePaul team, 0-3. WKU, 3-1, number 22 in the nation after getting swept by number three in the nation, Louisville, on Wednesday in their home opener. They switch sides again. Western Kentucky moves to the right side, DePaul to the left. And Western riding the coattails of Lauren Matthews late in that third set. Avery Davis came in to replace Kennedy Coyle and Logan Gravengood as well. Both of them have been off the bench, relatively productive in short spurts. And both of them start on the floor in this fourth set. Western won the first nine sets of the season for the first time since 2007. They ran into a brick wall in Louisville, number three in the nation, and got swept. So this is the first time that they're playing a fourth set. Katie Eisenbarger serves for Western Kentucky to start set number four. Serve will come right to left. Fifth year senior Eisenbarger Running start and a floater serve. Pass by Presley, left side, it's stifled. Bailey Nelson at the top of the tape ran into Lauren Matthews. And the middle hitter continues to shine for WKU. Second block of the day, make that third block of the day for Lauren Matthews. Eisenbarger serves again. Pass by Krasowski, right side, soft touch, Presley taps it over the block of Lauren Matthews and Avery Davis. And we're tied at one apiece. With that, Jill Presley will serve. Unanimous preseason all Big East selection. One of five unanimous selections in the preseason Big East race. And an ace for Jill Presley. Serve went to Abby Schaefer. It caromed off her forearm about two rows deep. And DePaul leads 2-1. Presley high toss in this fourth set and serves again, pass by Briggs. Perfect up for Bauer. The set, quick one to Matthews and another kill. Second kill of the set for Lauren Matthews and her 13th of the day. She's hitting 550. Ashley Hood serves for Western Kentucky. 2-2 in set number four. And DePaul's Krasowski, the libero, passes it up. Left side, it's Bailey Nelson. Block touch, joust up top. Bauer can't win it. Instead, it's the middle hitter, Ali Kindleberger, pushing it over towards the WKU side and down. DePaul scores, it's 3-2. And Caitlin Oxley, the freshman middle, will serve again, this time for DePaul. So Caitlin Oxley, who won the state championship in Nebraska last year for Lincoln Lutheran, also qualifying for the state championship in high jump. She serves with, sit, with spin on the side. Abby Schaefer, pass, quick set, up for Lauren Matthews, her 14th kill. Avery Davis sits, Katie Howard comes on to serve for WKU. Tied at three apiece in set number four. Two sets to one in favor of Western. Katie Howard serve, right to left, sails out of bounds. And DePaul leads four to three. Ashley Kudema comes in to serve for DePaul. In the fourth set, DePaul leads Western Kentucky four to three. And Kudema's floater serve goes over to Abby Schaefer. Quick set, down the middle, Lauren Matthews dug in the back row by Presley. Abby Schaefer sets up Briggs again. Left side block touch out of bounds. Paige Briggs with her 16th kill of the day. Her career best is 21. 
She did it twice, once her freshman year and once her sophomore year. The senior Paige Briggs has taken over. Serve for Abby Schaefer. WKU gives it back to DePaul. Taylor Underwood left side. Swing and a dig for Ashley Hood. Paige Briggs on the left. WKU scores again as Briggs swings and clobbers it down. 5-4 Western Kentucky leads DePaul in the fourth set. And Abby Schaefer serves again. Three aces, make it four for Schaefer. Her serve went to the back. Jill Presley tried to play it with her left forearm and she accidentally punched it out of bounds behind her to the fourth row. 6-4 Western Kentucky leading DePaul in set number four. Schaefer serves again. Presley passes as she falls down to her rear end. Push shot by Brooker. Diving dig by Hood. They go back to Briggs. Hockey sack down and out of bounds off the pin. Paige Briggs with another kill as DePaul basically ran out of touches. 7-4 WKU as Briggs picks up her 18th kill of the day. So Western Kentucky riding the coattails of Abby Schaefer now. Her service run continues. True freshman, the libero was thrown into the fire in the wake of Kelsey Brangers' season-ending knee injury. Pass by Presley and a free ball punched over by Brooker. Here comes WKU off the slide. It's Eisenbarger, paralyzing kill. The middle hitter, Katie Eisenbarger, is best off of one foot. DePaul learning that the hard way and a timeout for the Blue Demons. 8-4 Western Kentucky leads in the fourth set. We're back in a moment on the Hilltopper Sports Network brought to you by Learfield. Hilltopper fans, visit your local Ace Hardware Marketplace for all the best brands in grilling like Big Green Egg, Traeger, and Weber and get free delivery and assembly on your grill purchase of $3.99 and up. Brian Klein, very happy to be with you. Western Kentucky leads DePaul 8-4 in the fourth set as Abby Schaefer serves and gets it over. Pass by Joe Presley, swung on by Brooker. WKU gets it back. Paige Briggs loads up. And a ball handling error, two touches by the setter, Callie Bauer, in her redshirt freshman season, her first full season playing setter. She was an outside hitter in club, recruited to Western as a setter. And there are growing pains. 8-5, Western Kentucky leads. Serve comes from Taylor Underwood for DePaul. Pass by Schaefer, left side, Briggs. Oh, she smacks it down. Paige Briggs again, kill number 19 on the day. And Western leads DePaul 9-5 in the fourth set. My goodness, Paige Briggs is an absolute force. 19 kills. You can go to her whenever you need. 41 swings. Logan Grevengood comes in for the front row rotation. Ashley Hood sits. Callie Bauer serves for Western. Overpass by Nagy and dunked down by Kami Eisenberger. Callie Bauer all smiles, high fives Eisenbarger as Western Kentucky is in the driver's seat. They've taken six of the last seven points. 
Bowers serve goes right to left. Nagy passes over to Presley, stifled up top. Who else? Off the bench, the true freshman Logan Grevengood climbing the ladder. Solo block for Grevengood, 11-5 Western Kentucky leads in the fourth set. Callie Bauer serves again, floater serve, pass by Krasowski, the libero. Right side, Brooker, and a kill. Abby Schaefer could not hacky sack it up. Down the right line, and the true freshman libero gets an encouraging high five from Katie Howard and Callie Bauer, two of her teammates saying, hey, nothing you could do about that. That was a nice swing by Brooker. Krasowski serves for DePaul. Left side off the pass from Schaefer. It's a swing for Briggs, and DePaul gets it back. On the other left side, it's Jill Presley with the swing. Nice dig by Schaefer. Joust up top, and Bauer punches it over. DePaul gives it back to Brooker on the right side. Abby Schaefer, nearly an overpass it was. Callie Bauer, the center, was at the net. And on the pass by Schaefer, Bauer accidentally ran into the nylon. So with that, DePaul gets a break. It's 11-7, the Blue Demons trail in the fourth set. And Krasowski serves again, about 15 feet behind the service line. A pass by Schaefer, dumped by Bauer in Western Kentucky, scores again. 12-7, the Hilltoppers lead in the fourth set. Rachel Krasowski's service run is over. Katie Howard sits. Avery Davis comes back in for the front row rotation. Paige Briggs serves, inches over the tape. Passed by Nagy, and a free ball coming up on that wide pass. Presley gets it over. Briggs facilitating. Eisenbarger finishing. Katie Eisenbarger, her second kill of the set. 13-7, Western Kentucky leads. And DePaul calls a timeout. Mary Zydak has seen enough. Midway through this fourth set, DePaul has used their second and final timeout. So they better figure it out now or else they're in trouble. Two sets to one, Western Kentucky leads DePaul. We're back in a moment on the Hilltopper Sports Network brought to you by Learfield. Fourth set between Western Kentucky and DePaul. Western Kentucky leads DePaul 13-7. Paige Briggs serves for the Hilltoppers right to left. Handled by Brooker, swing by Brooker, block touch and down. It's a kill for Grace Brooker, the freshman right side hitter. And DePaul out of the timeout, scores again 13-8. The Blue Demons just used their second and final timeout of this fourth set. So they're gonna figure it out, it better be now. Maggie Jones serving for the Blue Demons. Transfer from NC State, handled by Schaefer. Right side, Logan Grevengood is picked up by Krasowski, the libero, overpass, dunked down by Matthews and Eisenberger, and it's a kill. So Western Kentucky scores again. 14-8 WKU. And caromed over towards me at the scorer's table. Goes, goes without saying, I made the catch. Don't worry about it. It's kind of an Odell Beckham Jr. grab. Reached over with my left hand because my right hand is my pen hand. I gotta take notes and you know be a journalist here. 
<laughs> Callahan Wiegand serve is popcorned up by Nagy. Right side, it's Jill Presley on the swing, and WKU controls. Avery Davis dials it up. DePaul gets it back. Swing and a stop. Bailey Nelson ran into a brick wall to go back to Nelson. Tipped up, joust. Lauren Matthews wins it. WKU controls. Paige Briggs, back row attack. Nice dig by Maggie Jones, the setter. In the back, it's Jill Presley. WKU has it again in system. Logan Grevengood sandwiches it down. She clogged it between the block and Logan Grevengood with her first kill of the day, the true freshman on the right side. 15-8, Hilltopper lead. Wiegand serves. Julia Nagy pops it up. It's saved by Krasowski, nearly went into the stands, and a free ball. Briggs facilitating, and Lauren Matthews finishes in the middle. This fourth set is easily Western Kentucky's best, 16-8. Callahan Wiegand stays at the service line. Mini 3-0 spurt for the Hilltoppers. And that's how it ends with a Wiegand service error. And she sits for Katie Eisenbarger. Jill Presley serves for DePaul left to right. Nice pass by Abby Schaefer. A bit of an overpass actually. A joust and Lauren Matthews hit the net on her way up on that joust. Joe Presley is not an easy player to receive. High topspin serve with a big boom that you can hear all around the Stroh Center. Here it comes again. This time passed by Briggs. Matthews sets it up and lines it over the net. Popped up by Maggie Jones. Big block on the swing by Brooker. DePaul gets it back. Dump by Oxley and a net violation. No, make that a carry. So DePaul leads, rather trails by seven. Western Kentucky taking advantage of the carry. Ashley Hood will serve for the Hilltoppers. Floater serve. Pass by Presley. They go to the left side. Big swing by Underwood, and WKU has to spit it back with a free ball. Quick set, Oxley is there for the kill. Caitlin Oxley, the freshman middle blocker, was brought in, according to Mary Zodak, for situations like this. The tough opponents, she has the physicality to match number 22 in the nation. She's been doing that pretty well so far today. And Oxley serves. Bauer sets it up off the pass from Schaefer. Lauren Matthews kill, no. Swing to the back right and a free ball. DePaul somehow keeps it up by Jill Presley. Matthews again, same spot, but this time it's Oxley getting clogged on the floor. It's down for another kill. Lauren Matthews with kill number 17 on the day. 18-11 lead for WKU. And the fourth set, first set went to Western, the second to DePaul, and then comfortably for the Hilltoppers in the third. Katie Howard serve right to left, DePaul gets it. It's controlled by Brooker, swung on by Brooker, and stuffed by Paige Briggs. The outside hitter has done a lot of offense, a lot of defense in the back row. It's her first block of the day, 13 digs, 19 kills, for Paige Briggs, double-double number 36 on her career. Taylor Underwood gets the pass from Julia Nagy. It sails to the top of the ceiling. Lauren Matthews with the free ball out of bounds. Not even close. 19-12 on the error by Lauren Matthews. Western Kentucky still leads. Ashley Kudamont serves for the Blue Demons. Left to right it goes. Redirected by Schaefer. Left side Briggs off the block touch. DePaul controls. 
Bump set for Krasowski. Back row attack, Presley, and it's a kill. Abby Schaefer popped it out of bounds behind her. And she taps her jersey saying, that's my fault. Kudamont serves again. It's a six point advantage for WKU. Pass by Howard. Left side, Briggs, soft touch. DePaul keeps it up, courtesy of Jill Presley. Left side attack for the Southpaw, Grace Brooker, sailing out of bounds. Going for the cross court attempt, and actually no. The original call was out of bounds, Brooker missed, and now they're ruling without a challenge that it's a block touch, and Travis Hudson disgruntled. He grabs the green card and challenges. Didn't want to do it, but now he feels like he has to. 19-14 for now, WKU leads. We're back in a moment with the verdict of the challenge on the Hilltopper Sports Network brought to you by Learfield. Back here at the Stroh Center in Bowling Green, Ohio, Western Kentucky and DePaul in the fourth set with WKU leading 20, 20 to 13. Abby Schaefer serves right to left, quick set. Oxley can't get there in time. Eisenbarger dumps it down on the joust. Actually two hits ruled against Oxley. So DePaul with the ball handling error and Schaefer serves again. Before the break, Western challenged the call that Grace Brooker's swing was block touched and then out of bounds, so Western won that and keep their challenge. Swing on the near side, it's Grace Brooker again. I'll make that Taylor Underwood. Block touch out of bounds off the pin. So Taylor Underwood scores for DePaul. It's a seven point advantage for WKU in the fourth set. Underwood serves. Left to right, handled by Schaefer. Left side, Briggs, oh she smacks it down. Page Briggs again, it's 22-14 Western Kentucky, and Briggs picks up her 20th kill of the day. Callie Bauer will serve for WKU. Briggs is one off from tying her career high. Western is three points away from taking the match. Callie Bauer serves, handled by Krasowski in the back row, push shot Brooker. Nice bump set by Howard, joust up top, Little bump action by Eisenbarger in the front row, and Eisenbarger inadvertently ran into the net on her way down. 22-15, DePaul is trying to work from behind here. Rachel Krasowski serving the libero about 15 feet away from the service line, gets it off. Soft touch Grevengood off the pass from Schaefer. Krasowski with a little free ball action on a set. WKU out of system, Logan Grevengood with a free ball. Quick set, left side, Jill Presley swing, and the righty can't get it to go. They go back to Briggs, and she gets another kill. She ties her career high, 21 apiece, and Western leads 23 to 15. Here in the fourth set, WKU is two points away from clinching the match, and Paige Briggs is one kill away from her career high. Jump serve for Briggs. Overpass, Logan Grevengood was there to ward off any joust attempt that DePaul might have. Instead, Caitlin Oxley quivers. Grevengood gets the scare tactic point, and it's 24 to 15, match point for WKU. Briggs serves again. Line drive over to Presley. Right side, Grace Brooker, it's a kill. Abby Schaefer, the libero down the right line, could not handle it, sails to the third row on the near side. 24-16, DePaul treading water, but it's still match point. And Maggie Jones, the transfer from NC State, serves. 
Left to right. Played by Schaefer. They go back to Grevengood, down the right line, handled by the libero, Krasnowski in a free ball. Bauer sets up Grevengood again, block touch, diving dig, Krasnowski. Net violation, two touches, WKU scores, and that is how the match comes to an end. 25-16 in the fourth set, WKU survives the scare from DePaul. Paige Briggs quarterbacking an unbelievable effort for Western Kentucky, 21 kills. That ties her career high from back in 2020 and 2019. The third time in her career that she had three kills and the senior is undoubtedly going to get high fives all around for Western Kentucky. We're back in a moment for the Med Center Health Post Game Show here on the Hilltopper Sports Network brought to you by Learfield. Did you know that a yearly visit with your doctor can stop serious problems before they start? At MedCenter Health Primary Care, we are dedicated to your health and wellness. Using your annual visit as a time to review.